what the business is. We back as the boxing clinic and more. Still talking that real trail boxing talk. Shout out to the whole LDBC. One time for the one time. You know what the business is. Make sure you go check out the homie Junior the Truth. Trying to get him over a thousand subs. He definitely deserves it. Let's get him there. I'll link his uh, channel into the description. Uh, it'll be Junior the Truth channel link in the description. Take you straight there. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you. But um, yeah, somebody asked me why wasn't Luis Ortiz ranked in other sanction bell bodies. And now I think he ranked number eight or nine in the IBF. All right. We know he's going to be uh, eligible to come back to the WBA in September after the failed drug test through WBC VADA. The WBC VADA cleared him of in the WBA just so happened. Uh, then it, then uh, just so happened then clear Luis Ortiz. Um, so they still suspend him. So, you know, it is what it is. But Luis Ortiz should continue to go the IBF route. I think that's perfect. WBO. <laughs> Is in AJ back pocket first. They uh, or Eddie Hearns in AJ back pocket first. They said that um, he was a super champion, didn't have a, a mandatory for 18 months. All of a sudden, he turns around and has a mandatory. That's probably gonna be Dillian White in March or April, whenever you know they, his next fight gonna be. Um, the WBA is corrupt. We already know that uh, when it comes to the heavyweight with a uh, with a uh, Eddie Hearn. So then you lead the WBC, which is Deontay Wilder, and IBF, which is very very strict. Now, we know last time that they threatened to drop the belt, according to Eddie Hearn, if Luis Ortiz and um, Anthony Joshua was forced by the WBA, which it should have been. And if you don't know the situation, like I said, I did a lot of videos, a lot of research, a lot of articles being linked. If you didn't know, um, this is what happened. Uh, WBA sanctioned Klitschko and Ortiz to fight for the Super WBA Championship, all right? All right, when that didn't happen, when Vladimir Klitschko asked Luis Ortiz let him fight Anthony Joshua, they had a step aside deal. He did as long as the winner faced Anthony Joshua, no rematch, no nothing. The winner had to face Anthony. Jo I mean, had to face Luis Ortiz. Anthony Joshua won. He refused to face Luis Ortiz. All you heard was, you know, Eddie Hearn said, "You know what? We bigger than the belt. We don't need the belt. We had dropped the belt." All of a sudden, Luis Ortiz, because they were trying to go to Puev route, which Puev was not going to fight under Southern Promotions no more. All of a sudden, Ortiz filled his drug test. The w WBC invited to an investigation. He's cleared of the drugs. The WBA still suspend him and let uh, Joshua face um, Carlos Takam, which was a pointless fight. All right, all right. So that was that situation. Now, if I'm Ed, if I'm Al Heyman, you know, and I'm Luis Ortiz, I'm sitting down with Luis De Cubas, the whole management team, and whole team Ortiz. The whole situation is to get with the IBF. All right, get with them and, and see what's the quickest route to get him up there behind the mandatory with Puev. And Huey Fury. That's what he should do. Luis Ortiz should go the IBF route. And I guarantee you this. If Luis Ortiz go the IBF route before Anthony Joshua faces uh, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Water or Tyson Fury the winner of that fight. If, if, you know, he, he has an IBF mandatory before then, it won't be about all the belts. He will drop that IBF belt to avoid Luis Ortiz. I'm telling you that now. He will drop that belt to avoid Luis Ortiz. All right? That's the situation. They're going to say the Wilder fight can't happen. It ain't no point for us to carry all these belts. Woo, woo, woo. That's going to be what they say. That's how they're going to play it. And the fan base is so stupid. They believe every move. They believe that Al Heyman, the person that Fred personally told me from Barbershop Conversation, shout out to Fred, um, told me that Al Heyman owns stock. We well, owns a, a chunk of Clearwater Inter Clearwater uh, uh, the radio station. You know, he owns a chunk that owns every radio station. You know what I'm saying? He has all these relationships with these venues. Shelly Finkel, he got all these financial plugs in the music game. He got Mark Breland a hundred thousand annuity every year on one day. Mark Breland. Gets a hundred thousand and connected him with Deontay Wilder to train him. These dudes got money. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Al Heyman is one of the most shrewdest, biggest businessmen in the world without boxing. When he was doing music tours, the Drake tour, Drake shouted him out. So he got money. Everybody knows that. Eddie Hearn is worth two million dollars, dog. Two million. That's nothing. That's nothing to, to what you're talking about with Shelly Fink and Al Heyman, all right? So people still believe that. He said 50 million, then he turned around and said, oh, I didn't mean 50 million. I was just referencing, I want 100 million. Like, what? He come out and say that. He comes out and literally said, we're going to freeze water out. Then he comes back 
And he also said, well, I'm going, I'm going to fight Wilder and I'm in the best position to beat him. All this whole shit that he's saying, man. That nobody, nobody everybody just glossed around and blindly following him. And if he drops the, the IBFL, people will, will say, oh, okay, you know, you know, you know, the Wilder fight don't happen. It don't, it don't matter. You know, Wilder's ducking him. And it's no point in making the, uh, carrying all these belts, man. You know, that's the excuse they're going to use. That's the excuse they're going to lose. You know? That's going to be what the, that's going to be what it is. That's a vast excuse they're going to lose. They're going to rationalize that same way with Triple G. At first, it was about facing mandatory to keeping belts. You know what I'm saying? It was about all the belts. Then he gave up a belt and wanted to fight Vinas instead of Darvachenko. And then, then he turned around and said, you know, they did me wrong. And I still want all the belts. How you want all the belts? You about to drop the WBC if you beat Canelo and not to fight Jamal Charlo and move up to fight James McGill. You see, they lying, and when you when you catch them in their lies, when you source all these articles, you read all these stories, and you make footnotes, and you stump these stupid fans, these stupid dumb fans, when you stump them like that, when you stump into a UK boy fanboy throat like that, when you stump into a Triple G fanboy throat like that, they can't stomach it. They can't stomach the truth. You know what I'm saying? And this dude, if Luis Ortiz do that, go the IBF route, and run through the competition, and become the mandatory next year, Anthony, before fighting Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua dropping that belt, family. And Joshua and Wilder ain't going to help until 2020 at the at the earliest. And that's if Joshua keep winning. And that's square business. And Luis Ortiz needs to go to IBF, bro. When he dropped the IBF, people still not going to, they going to try to believe, you know, some type of fairy tale story about him. Oh, he still want to be the best? No, he don't. No, he don't. Because then he would just, and you catch him in this lot. Then he was just screaming like, oh, I, I, I got to fight my IBF mandatory. You know, uh, Luis Ortiz could rate for the WBA. You know, he dropped the IVF. I want to see what y'all say. I'm going to laugh, man. You know, you can't rationalize this. You can't rationalize that, man. But, you know, if I'm with Ortiz, I go the IBF route. And I, and, I, and I put him in a position where you got to fight him. If you don't fight me, drop it. Fight somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And that's serious business, man. Everybody know Anthony Joshua Pump. People don't want to admit it, though. You know, some people in the UK don't want to admit it. Glorifying throwing chicken. You know, and when the heavyweight champ step up, get to running and throwing chicken. Joshua is soft, man. He a punk. And people still believe he can beat Wilder. Give me that money. I mean, you got fans out here and people out here that believe that. They believe that. He don't even believe he could beat Wilder. Eddie Hearn don't believe he could beat Wilder right now. They didn't believe he could beat Tyson Fury. Fury was willing to fight him in the first fight back. They didn't believe he could beat Tyson Fury. 400 pound Tyson Fury. They don't believe in this dude. This dude is a 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 door opener. You know, he knocking doors now for Eddie Hearn. You know, he the lead blocker fullback doing all the turf tough and dirty work while the uh op, the spread option quarterback get all the glory. All the glory. He not getting no glory. He ain't nothing but looking out here like a punk. He ain't seeing the gusto, the pesos, the pounds, the money, the USD. He ain't seeing none of that. He got he let a he let a white man sign for his name. A white man controls the rights to Anthony Joshua. That's not milking no more. That's whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. yes a massa. Yes a massa. Yes, yeah, you sign for me, Massa. Massa Eddie, you sign for me. Whoosh, oh, Ashley, Eddie, I'll show you. That's what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the whole LDBC. We're gonna come back, go hard again tonight. More videos coming. Um at least one more boxing video for sure. We'll do some off topic. Just go subscribe to the homie Junior The Truth. His channel link in the description. Also, make sure you check out the other links our PayPal link, our social media links, our podcast link. We're going to get back on the hop on that, our college sports page link. Check all that out, man. Much blessings to everybody that donated the super chat and the PayPal. Shout out to you guys. Y'all guys, the real MVP. Shout out to the LDBC. Y'all go subscribe to the brother Junior The Truth. Channel link in the description.